just hours ago, Governor Mike DeWine asked federal emergency management officials to survey damage in 11 Ohio counties. And it's because of this. Today marks one week since an EF3 tornado caused major devastation in Logan County, killing three people. Tonight, the community of Indian Lake is still working to rebuild. Thanks for watching 10TV News at 5. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. The declaration by the governor will determine if federal supplies are needed to help local and state agencies. Agencies. And tonight, in the midst of tragedy, is a mystery. A large and historic statue of the Virgin Mary that once stood over the lake was torn down by the tornado's winds, and there's been no sign of her since. Tin TV's Carla Rogner went out to the community today. She joins us live from Russell's Point with this story. Carla. Guys, there are signs of the tornado everywhere you look in Russell's Point, but another reminder of the devastation for people here is the missing statue that usually stands right over there. She hasn't been seen since the storm. Now efforts are underway to find her somewhere in the lake. It was a pretty neat statue. She used to loom over the lake. People could use it uh, for boating. If they were out at night, they could see the statue and kind of get a get an idea of uh, north, south, east and west from it. The 20 foot tall Our Lady of Fatima, somewhat of a guiding star for Indian Lake. But now I understand it's in the lake somewhere. The pedestal for the statue is missing its heroine. It was shocking to think that a statue that large could be taken away. What's more shocking is that we can't find her. Bill Quatnam's grandfather erected the statue in 1964 with his nonprofit, the American Society of Ephesus. His goal to spread messages of Christianity at Indian Lake. Since then, it has become a beloved symbol of community at Russell's Point. Quatman, who lives in Missouri now, was back over the weekend to organize search and rescue for the statue. I had so many people come up to me and said, please, we're begging you to build the Mary statue back. They said it's so important to us. Because of all the debris in the water, they've only been able to look for it from above using a drone. But they haven't found anything. It would have flown 50 to 100 yards in the air, you know, and landing in the lake somewhere, maybe in two pieces. Nobody saw her fly away, but it'd be an amazing thing to think about that 20 foot tall statue flying through the air length of a football field and landing in the lake somewhere. As Indian Lake continues to recover from the tornado, Quatman is pledging to bring the statue back to stand tall over the community once again. We understand how important it is to the community to have this statue built back, and we're going to build it back. Yeah, Quatman has no idea what condition the statue will be in when they find it. He says some people have offered to go diving and look for it, but it hasn't been safe to do that yet. He does have plans to redesign and rebuild the statue no matter what to honor both his family's and the lake's legacy. Live at Indian Lake, Carla Rogner, 10TV News.